Hey, what the hell? Let's get in. Hello? Guess what? What? Do you really want to know? Yeah? Your damage sucks. Screw you, your damage sucks. Fuck you, your damage sucks. No, fuck you, your damage sucks. Hey! What? What's your name? YouTuber! Your damage sucks, YouTuber! What's your name? Villainous V! Your damage sucks, Villainous V! Hey! Guess what I did last night? Don't you fr don't you fucking put my damage into this! I built that bonfire! And I put the damage last night! <laughs> <laughs> Hello my fine villains and the lovely villainesses. Today I'm gonna help y'all get steel path damage right now. Let's hop on into it. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you right now, in order to even get steel path, and yes, when I mean steel path, I mean this thing right over here. You got the regular normal stuff and you got the hard mode steel path. And the only way to get to steel path is is through completing the entire origin system. So everything you see on the map here, you have to go in and 100% it. Now there's a few exceptions, like if you go to series, the abyssal zone is not is going to be blinking no matter what. That's because you have keys for that thing. Or if you go all the way to the void, the void raider over here, that's completely different stuff. Won't count towards steel path. I mean, do it once, but yes, you have to do everything here, at least complete it. And the story as well, but you yeah, just got to get the thing, everything done. Then you're going to need to go to a relay and then fast travel over to Teshin. Teshin is going to be the guy you're going to need to talk to, and he will start you on Steel Path. And that's just the beginning. Let's go back to the navigation. What you're going to want to start to do is something called arbitration. And the only way to do that is by unlocking steel path and completing everything. So you'll be needed to do these particular missions. Now you'll need to get vital essence or vitus essence. Once you get those, you can turn them in, but let's go over this real quick. So right now we, there's a disruption mission and there's a corpus if you use the Warframe that's selected. So right now, Vauban, it'll get an additional 300% for strength and more health. So if you want to bring him, go for it. As you can also see, if you brought the Argonac, the Ghoul Saw, or the Hespar, they will get an additional 300% damage just for you using them. And you can just keep grinding this. Now, why are you needing this? Well, if you go all the way out and you're going to need to go to any relay and I say any relay because you're going to need to go to the Arbiters of Hexus. Let's uh, the, the, the mon, mon, let's montage this thing. So once we have found the Arbiters of Hexus, we're going to walk up and we're not going to talk to this guy. No, no, no. We're going to talk to the guy next to him for the Arbitration Honors. So you come into here and you, you could get any of these particular mods, but we're not here for those. I want you guys to scroll down and I want you to come way down here to the bottom. And here's where you're going to find all of the galvanized mods. Anyone will tell you. These galvanized mods are the particular ones you're gonna want to put on any and all of your weapons. And these are for the primaries, the, the primaries and the secondaries. The melees, uh, that, that, that's totally different. But the primaries and the secondaries, you're definitely gonna wanna have these particular ones. So as you can see, this one, when you get more kills, you get even more multi-shot. Uh, this one is like the condition overload. Whenever you apply statuses, you get more damage per status. And they're for pistols, shotguns, rifles, and all, all of those. And you even have uh, ones for Argon Scope, which is like, uh, 
Yeah, Argon Scope, that's right. Galvanized Scope, which is like Argon Scope, but a little bit better. And if you get those, that'll, those will definitely help. Now, another way to get Steel Path ready damage is by getting in some Bane mods. Now, I know you're asking, V, why the hell do I even need to care about Bane mods? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, Bane mods are actually really good if you don't have them already. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you some right now. So, Primed Bane of Corpus, you'll do 1.55 multip multiplicative damage. So, all of your damage at the end of it is going to get multiplied by 1.55 times. So this is really good when it comes to particular factions. Now you will also want to have prime mods on everything. And the only way to get prime mods is through Baro Katir. And he comes every two weeks. Now if you go to your communications, he actually will drop a uh, message every now and then so he'll he'll say borrow katir is going to be in the saturn relay or hi i'm here for the saturn relay and you can get him every now and then he comes every two weeks now if you're wondering well you know is he here right now well not in the making of this video unfortunately but you will need to go to a relay for this particular thing now if you come into the relay right now i'm the saturn one which is the emperor one and you go to these guys right here. And as you can see, there's 11 days until the next uh, Baroque Tier sighting. So if you go up to them, any prime blueprints, you can sell right here. So say I got a Baruch, uh, Baruch Prime system. I'll get 50 ducats right now just for selling that. And you, can, you don't have to do them one at a time. You could just sell them. But when he comes, he'll be able, you'll be able to get prime mods from him, which will definitely help your damage significantly. I'll even show you from my weapons right now. So right now I have primed pressure point and that's one of the, one of the prime mods. Uh, I even have primed fever strike. If you're wondering what's the difference from them, this is an almost fully outfitted Prime Fever Strike, which is 150 Toxin right now. If we go over to Fever Strike, it's only 90. More damage equals better numbers. All right, now the very next thing I wanna go over to help you get higher damage in Steel Path or to get those Steel Path damage, we're gonna go over some Arcanes. And if you don't know what Arcanes are, I'll give you a simple rundown. Arcanes are additional passives you can put onto either your weapons or your Warframes. Now, if you don't know where you can actually find out where or what Arcanes you have, you go over to the Arcane segment. And yes, you can see we have a boatload of arcanes and a lot of these are just all over the place you will find them everywhere and yes there are even some I don't have but some of them are very good for survival but we're going for damage so let's try to find some good ones some of the ones that I can easily say are very good are arcane ice storm Another one would be Arcane Fury if you're trying to do melee damage and yes, it, is, it says right there it's for Warframes. Another one I would highly suggest going for is Molt Augmented. And if we're gonna go for some uh, Arcanes for your primaries and secondaries, I would definitely go for the Primary Merciless. Now where do you get something like this? Just do Steel Path missions. With the Acolytes, killing them will drop one of these primary and or secondary arcanes. Now, some of the other ones you can go over are even melee arcanes. Some of them include, but not limited to, the ones you see on screen. And these are more along, these are more in the Demos region. One of the ones I also would recommend, and this is only for, and I will say this again, only for if you're in a mission that has walls. I present to you Arcane Arachne. Now you need this because all you have to do is stay wall latched onto a wall for like a second 
and you get an additional 150 damage literally for 30 seconds. One of the best underrated arcanes for a Warframe out there. So now that we've gone over all of those, I want to go over some melee mods that you may or may not have. Starting with Condition Overload, Blood Rush, and Weeping Wounds. Now I highly suggest getting all three of these and putting them on your weapons. Now this is for general use. If you're going to go for like a heavy attack, that's completely different, but I would suggest using these three. So why would I suggest these three? Well, Condition Overload, whenever you put on a status, you gain an additional 80% damage. And you can just haul, you could just throw in all the statuses on there. Weeping Wounds will definitely help with that. And on top of that, when you increase your combo multiplier, you get more status, which means more damage. On top of that, while you're having that going, an increased critical chance with your combo multiplier, with your status multiplier, and with this in its entirety, you should be able to do a heaping hell of a lot more damage. Anyways, if I have missed anything, I'm terribly sorry. I, it's really hard for me to explain a lot of things, but I try to explain as much as I can. Please comment below if I have missed something, and that we'll discuss it there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, help a villain out. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay villainous, take care, and goodbye.